Hi! <laughs> so, uh, I just watched an episode of the Red Table Talk and I'm just like... <sighs> I spoke about this in a video and it's a video... I don't know if I'm going to upload this later or like before I post that video because I feel like it's relevant now but maybe I'll wait until after that video. But this woman called Esther Perel and I'd listened to her TED talk and just like I had even gotten her book Meeting in Captivity. I didn't even know it was the same person. But she talked about relationships. The episode was about fidelity and whether a relationship can recover from infidelity. And the things that she said, not even to do with, with fidelity because I feel like that already was something that I'd heard her talk about, but like how she talked about designing a relationship or like, I mean, <laughs> sorry, I'm so excited because this is literally what I had said in, in my video about relationships, how, the, how I'm so excited to imagine a partner who would be able to talk about relationships with and just like sit down and decide what it means for us rather than trying to fit into roles or trying to fit into a box about what relationships are supposed to be. So I, I watched this video and I was just like, oh my God, like this is exactly what I was talking about. Like not being about roles. Um, she said something so profound and I feel like I have to watch that episode again. And it was, they were, her and Jada were talking because Jada said that um, Esther Perel, she, but she, they, they say her name interesting, it's like Esther or something, Esther Perel was instrumental in Jada and Will's relationship and how they redesigned it from being a marriage into a life partnership. And she was talking about how they had to look at their wounds and see, you know, that like she was codependent and, and Will was, you know, really trying to prove himself as, as, as a man, you know, and they were feeding into each other's wounds and caught in a spiral. And they had to get to the place where they had, they re it was like the relationship was just breaking down or it wasn't healthy and they had to get to the place where they had to face each other honestly and talk about shit, like be upfront. And she said it was the most excruciating time of her life. But then I, I guess she said that it also has birthed this new way of being with each other that they feel is, is more authentic because they're able to be individuals and they're able to be responsible for them for themselves and their own happiness so <laughs> i'm trying to remember everything because like i was i was watching that episode and like i swear for those whole 20 minutes my mouth was just open like because that's exactly exactly what i have been putting out into the universe that i would like the kind of union where we talk about, we, we face each other, like there's no bullshitting about what our needs are, what our pain is, even the pain that we carry. Okay, I remember something else. So one of the other things that Esther was talking about was that um, there's this, so viewers were, I mean, well, the viewers really, like people from the Red Table Talk family on Facebook were, were like calling in with questions and there was a chick who, was talking about how she was cheated on and then ended up breaking up with that person and it was in a new relationship but found herself not being able to trust that her, her partner wouldn't cheat on her and and esther was like you just have to be honest about the pain that you come with like tell your partner your new partner this is this is the pain that i've come with from this other relationship where I was hurt in this way. And so it's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I'm going to take some time to be able to get to the place where I can be comfortable or we're going to have to work on this together so that I can, you know, deal with this. Um, or, you know, like, do you see that level of honesty where you're even honest about your wounds and, and, and you understand exactly what it is that you need or even if you don't like you talk through it and you figure it out and i feel like most of the time we enter relationships so blindly like like just i like you you like me we're going to make this work and then they're like silent expectations which is another thing that they talked about like it's just this is what i imagine that my boyfriend is supposed to be and supposed to do for me and so when you step out of line i'm gonna get really really mad 
and you know vice versa like you have ideas about what a girlfriend is supposed to be and if i step out of line then you get really mad and it becomes this whole tug of war you know you're not giving me what i need but you guys didn't communicate this in the beginning so the thing about being in that situation is both of you have to be so aware you have to be so aware of 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 the pain that you've gone through you have to be working on yourself already you have to be responsible for your for your happiness you have to be responsible for yourself and then you have to know how to communicate this so that it is received and it has to be both of you doing that for it to work and to see that on red table talk was just like thank you universe i feel like the picture is becoming clearer of what it is that i'm asking in the you know the universe for and i'm so excited because it's bringing so much clarity it's bringing so much excitement for me because even forget about just how this person is going to show up in my life which i'm very excited to to figure out um which i'm very excited to see in the future forget even that it's for me how i feel like i'm going to show up for the next situation in my life I'm excited because I feel like I will be so much more present. I'll be so much more aware and just like into it. And <laughs> yeah, that's just so exciting to me. I feel like I'm really starting to see another level of relationships that I hadn't before because I was still stuck in that old paradigm of expectations and rules. And, you know, for the longest time, I finally broke through that. But like, to be in this place of creating something new is just so delicious and exciting and I can't I can't wait to exercise that with someone else. I feel like even more than than having a person in my life like to call like my partner. This is such a weird thing. I just feel so excited <laughs> to do this with someone. Like I feel like that is for me the bigger purpose to be able to see to, to to love each other and, and be able to create something so us, so authentic between me and another person and be able to do it with with such awareness and to be able to put in so much love and effort. That's the stuff that's exciting me more than, oh, I want someone who will hold me and and give me cuddles and like give me, like to me the work is actually becoming more exciting than these are the things that I, that I thought were so important because I feel like the growth that could happen with that kind of work on a personal level and then with each other would just be so amazing. I'm so excited to see it. And then it's like challenging. Like, yeah, it's just like, ah. <laughs> okay, this is getting out of hand. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys very quickly. And I love that this video is short. My videos these days have been so long, so... Let me just end it there. Um, let's talk about this. I'm so excited uh, to discuss this with people. I feel like uh, I've been I've been in a very reclusive kind of hermit mode space for the past two months, and I feel like I want to have. I'd even arranged an edition of Tarude Talks, which is just like an event that I've only had one edition for, but like where I. I invited people just to sit and have authentic conversations and it was so beautiful and I really want to hold one um, soon and I feel like I don't know maybe I'll talk about creating or designing your own relationship maybe that will be the topic I will definitely tell you guys uh, when the next edition will be I hope it's soon I feel like I'm starting to come out of my shell now so hopefully it will be soon anyway Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you so much love. And remember, above everybody else, you deserve your own unconditional love and acceptance. I will see you in the next video. Bye.